in this video I'm going to talk about uh, debug logs how you can generate and how you can see the debug logs so if this is of something interest to you you can continue watching and thanks for spending time on this video so without wasting any time let me take you to the first step so the first thing we'll be doing is go to setup and then search for debug so there is this debug log under the logs and here you can set up the debug logs the time start time and the expiration time and the level of the debug for which you want to set the logs so you can already see i have the logs generated for the previous time that is on a different start date and expiration date you can what you can do is you can click on edit and then set let me show you this so you can click on edit and then click this will show you the current time click on this and again how many minutes you want based on that you can modify this time i'll say say for one hour that will be like 2 58 pm and if you save this will capture the logs for your user for one hour so that's about editing it but you can create a new log here you can select the entity mostly it's user you can also select apex and the apex trigger as well and also i think this platform integration is a new thing uh, it was not there before but automated process is also something that you can set the debug logs so okay now i will set this to my user which is as of its dev and i will set the time it's 159 i'll make it say 2 oops, 2 i'll make it to 10 don't need that long for this maybe and the debug level so here is something you know you can see so this is the default i would say it comes in the r it says info info finest debug and info for all these log categories okay we want workflow or validation rule call out this is api call out and then apex code profiling visual force system database and then all these categories so for this one apex code it is finest means this is the highest level of details that it can capture in the logs okay otherwise you can also create a new debug log level here you can see much more details of what each category is all about you can give a name and then select what level of details you need suppose for the database operation you need finest and work for you don't need anything and let's say for apex usually i keep it finest for the apex because that's where most of the error comes and that's when most people are interested to check what's going on in the code okay so that's about it and this apex profiling visual force so whatever level you want you can set it and save it i'm not going to save it because this setup is fine for whatever i'm showing you guys today so sfdc dev console is fine apex code is fine as to rest everything is basic okay so let me select this and save it okay so right now today is 7 28 and it is set at okay it's also set with the other one there is a conflict here so what I'm gonna do I am going to delete this one okay and I'll continue with this one which has a start date on time of 1 59 p.m. to 2 10 p.m. okay and yeah let's get going so now now the time is for 2 2 p.m. 2 minutes okay I have another 8 minutes so in 8 minutes whatever I do 
as this user that will be captured in the logs which will come down here and remember you cannot keep on generating the logs this has a limit it can generate to a certain extent I forgot what num I think it's 15 MB or something but I'm not sure on that but yeah you can only generate a certain MB of log file after that you have to keep deleting and make some space for the new logs okay now let me go to home and then let's say we'll create an account now okay I have already created a couple of accounts I'll go and create a new account I would say SF bits account 3 and then select some other fields which are not required as you can see only account name is the required I'll just enter select some test log okay and I'm gonna save okay now this record is saved and we did a DML operation and we will see what is there in the log file let me go to setup debug yeah now you can see I have these three log files generated so this is pretty basic and you might ask that I have set up the apex as the finest but why don't you see any big file which gives apex related logs so this is the new pretty new org which don't have much apex in it but I'm going to show you that so this is you can see all these standard log files this is basically checking you know duplicate detection method it has a standard duplicate rule that's what it's checking and again this is a duplicate rule invocation uh, this is the duplicate rule you can see and also it's all about that so these are pretty basic and standard logs and you can notice the log size is in bytes okay it's a very small log so now that we don't have you know any apex in the in this org what I have to do is I have to add some code so for that I'll go ahead and create a new trigger on the account so that whenever I create a new account this code runs and this will be captured in the log so I have this piece of the code let me copy this and put it back here so basically I'm creating a trigger which what it does is in the before insert this is the before context and this is insert so it basically turns out to be before insert event and here I am printing this is the before in insert context and here before update so this will print before update so now what I'm going to do I'll save this and create a new account so I can see this being printed and then again I will update an account and then see this and look for this in the log file so we'll go through that let me save this okay there is some unexpected token okay I have to remove the earlier code which comes by default when you click on the new button okay there is one more here okay now we should be good all right this is saved now account object it has account object is having trigger in place now I'm going to create a new account before that I just want to make sure if I am in that okay this is two we have till 210 and now it is 26 so let me go ahead and create quickly <coughs> one more account Account four, and then as usual, I'll give some fields, which is of not so much importance, but I'm just giving so that if to see if it captures there. Okay, now I have created 
a new account with trigger in place on the account object so i am coming back to debug logs and you can see this is created at 23 i'm going to refresh i will see more logs okay here you go so the first bottom three are the ones which we created in the first iteration and these are the ones which are created now so here by you know looking at the logs and log size you can see this is the big log size these all which are in bytes are the pretty standard ones if you, i don't think anybody would check that it's basically all the event and method invocation so you can ignore that but if you have something to check there you can check that but i have the log file which is of my interest is this one which is which will hold the apex trigger that i have in place so as you can see this is pretty big compared to the other logs that we have and here is what you can see this is before insert context because right now i did only insert that's why you see this in the code and similarly you can check in your code um, whatever statement that you are you know uh, printing or wherever it's going so you will be able to check it also shows the comment sorry um, method it entered and method it executed all those details you can see here and you can backtrack from the code like when it started when it ended like you can see here account trigger this code unit finished and it started here account trigger okay now i have one more minute before that let me quickly go and update that account and let's see if we can get the other Is the account I go to the details and I will add a phone number and quickly update it okay now it is updated it is 49 and I mean 29 as per the local time uh, of the Salesforce where is our debug log let me go back here sorry I'm not opening the windows properly um, debug and let me refresh this we should have one more file you can see here this is generated at 4 6 and 7 that is, this is the insert that we did again and after that two minutes later I updated that and this log is all about the update so I'm going to open this log file, which is the big one, which will hold the Apex related print that I'm doing. Okay, you can see here, this is the before update context, the update which I did now. And here is when it started and here is when it finished. And you can also see in all the log files, any Apex related or even that entire transaction related you can see the number of socals that are run and number of socials dml publish immediate dml and all the other you know key features of salesforce if you can call feature i don't know but yeah so these are the kind of summary of that apex or the transaction that happened uh, in this log file okay and um, one more thing I wanted to show is you can also check the logs in your developer console so you don't have to set this log uh, here in the debug instead you can directly go to developer console which opens here and you have the log tab selected here that's the first tab you can see there is no log here and if you keep your developer console open and go back to your salesforce and let's see i'll edit this and save it now let me go back to developer console you can see 
the logs are generated so if you have developer console open whatever you are doing on the application it shows up here in the log tab and you can see 4.95 kb this is the big one and if you open this you can see this trigger d you know debug statement that we are printing in the apex trigger so this is pretty simple if you have developer console access and if you want to see the logs in the developer console okay and and there's a lot of other things that you can do in developer console all these tabs you can see that we'll discuss in the next videos and for now this is all i have in this video hope i find this useful if not let me know uh, what exactly you are looking for in these videos i can make video on that and and uh, how did you find this video informational and if you have any feedback both positive and negative please feel free to enter in the comment section i look forward to that and thank you have a good day or good night see you later bye bye